Oh, crikey's! It's getting bad! I'm gonna get shelled up! Look at that there, upside down from factories. Warning. The warning about going outside during dangerous storms has been removed. We live in a very fluffy version of YouTube these days. Getting reports as a dust storm headed towards Sydney. They don't often come uh, this far east. Uh, my biggest worry is when the dust storm does hit, and if it does hit, it's going to bring a whole stack of, well, apart from dust, spiderlings and all sorts of nasty things that evolve in dust. So I'll be keeping a very careful eye on the colour of the sky. It's starting to turn a little bit brown in colour at the moment. Uh, more so if I point the camera towards the west, which is down in that direction. I was going to take a look at these toys today, but maybe I'll go and check out how the dust storm evolves. I might get down to some high places and see what's going on. There's also someone playing with power tools next door, so it's not really a day where I can scream at the toys. Yes, that's definitely looking uh, dustier and dustier the more I look. That first line of storms uh, brought the beginning of the dust storm and I think that second lot of clouds there near my thumb is going to bring the major amount of dust into Sydney. Just ventured down to my local McDonald's and I'm looking for dust in the sky and a discoloration. Let's see, it's getting there. It's uh, slowly but surely getting there. I think it's going to get worse or before it gets uh, better or -er. Okay, I'm just up north of Hornsby Station where a couple of trains park and if I uh, start to point the camera west I'm starting to see what is looking like a darker and darker massive or dusty sort of cloud and mess. Yes, up there it's looking quite grim. Crikey's, I can't imagine how many spiders are caught up in that dust cloud. Just looking slightly northwest there, you can just see the edge of it there. There's a lighter area and a much darker area. Yes, this is definitely headed this way, and I'm sort of pointing west there, looking very, very cranky. I'm just starting to feel the wind of that front coming and probably blowing across the microphone there. Yes, here it comes, it's coming in. Next place I'm going to head is uh, the roof of uh, Westfield Hornsby. I think that would be a great spot to watch this. Okay, I'm up on Westfield's rooftop. The, the wind is starting to crank in here. I'm starting to get very much a storm feel coming in here. I don't know how much you'll hear over the wind, but I can see the dust cloud there. It's right above Hornsby as I'm making this video. Very, very cranky looking and uh, might just clear the lens. In fact, I'll just take some shelter over here next to these trolleys. Woo! Woo! I've got some shelter behind this structure here and if I peek out there, that's, that's looking north, west in a sense. You can just see the edge of that very, very cranky looking. Uh, it, a lot of the dust is up in the air. I don't really think it's come down uh, to greet us on the land here. It's, it is coming down in the rain because we are having this rain. That's looking east, if that makes any sense. And really, yeah, over there, that's looking quite, quite manky. This is really hot on your hat sort of weather. In fact, it, it looks like it's sleeting or something. There's something in this in this rain. Oh, crikey's! It's getting bad! I'm gonna get shelter! I'm just trying to get next to these trolleys here. There's some sort of, I don't know, I don't know, homeless person's den in there. I never knew that existed. That is just crazy, but crikey, Charlie, it is just hammering the weather out there, hammering. There was a very strange moment there of what looked like sleet. Very cold snap came through, very, very nasty. And if I just poke northwest again, the wind has calmed down a bit. It is raining, but it's still looking very, very cranky up that way. I still notice people are doing their everyday business, uh, even though the weather's very gnarly. And as soon as I step out of the shelter from away from that structure there, it just gets quite windy. There's a very, very strange, it must be sort of like sleet. It looks like, I don't know, maybe miniature hail, but it's freezing cold now. So whatever's come through then has really changed the weather. And I think the bulk of the dust storm has blown out in that direction there. Oh, crikey, so it was very scary here for a moment. It is starting to calm down, thankfully. Just looking at the weather radar, that red glob finishes there right near Hornsby, and that's where I am. Very scary. I keep looking in that, and that would have been the safest place to be, but it's all locked up. Uh, that was very scary there for a while. And now when I look out, that's looking to the west. It looks like it's starting to clear. Uh, the wind is starting to calm down. I'm not seeing the rain like it used to. I think that was the dust storm. Uh, all over Red Rover. Very different to the 2009 dust storm. And if I start looking east, 
uh, you can see basically the back end of uh, what passed over the Hornsby area in Sydney. One of those freak weather events that are supposedly once in 70 years but seem to happen, oh, let's say once every nine years. Dang it, I only washed Mummy's car yesterday. Look at it now, covered in red dust from somewhere out west. I'm sure if I look careful enough, I'm gonna find some red back spiders in there. This is an hour after that cold front came through and now we've got like a stinking hot day, man. It has been a day of every conceivable sort of weather. It's very, very windy still. And I'm just showing you around the top. I'm still on top of Westfield car park here and I can still see a haze in the sky and that haze is dust. It would be still be very, very bad air getting about. Uh, more so if I'm looking up towards the north, northwest and the western area. Still looks pretty darn nasty. I can see the council workers are busy cleaning up the dust away from the car park. But I'd hang off cleaning your cars uh, too soon. You really got to wait for that wind to stop. That is coming from this direction here because while that wind blows in that direction, it's just going to bring in more and more dust. Man, it is really weird weather. It just keeps changing and it's horrible in the wind. To me, the dust storm is more something you can taste and you can feel a grit on your teeth in your mouth. It's a horrible thing. It's also very messy. And I look at the cars in the car park here, all filthy dirty and also the shopping center as well. Every glass panel uh, needs to be cleaned. Massive cleanup job. While I am at Westfield Hornsby, getting blasted by the wind, I will head down to Kmart because there's a Thomas & French set that I'm hoping to get another one of. Uh, if I'm lucky, but then again, I'm rarely ever lucky in that sense. And I'll have to go into the shopping centre and go into a lift here. I've been trapped in this lift a couple of times. It's a one at, uh, at David Jones. And if I'm really, really lucky, I'll be trapped again in this lift. But who knows, I might find some Thomas Glory down in Kmart. And for the rest of the video, I'll have to shoot it on my iPhone. Please be Thomas Gold, please. Just in looking at the Thomas toys, yeah, Thomas Woods uh, getting sold out. There's some more Trackmaster sets in here, and I found a Clanger. This is what I like to find. Look at that there, upside down from factory. So we can take a look at the ends here. It is still all taped up. That's the factory taping, and the other end is the same, still all taped up. Yeah, so um, that's a nice little find, uh, nice and unusual. I don't normally go around looking for faults. Uh, if I'm lucky, I might find another one because often there'll be a string of them. Oh, there's another one. I just had stuff crashing down on me. So there's a second one that I found, which is a factory, well, packed upside down in factory. Very, very nice to find that. I'm going to get two of those now. Um, will I find a third one or was that it, eh? There's Nia. That was a hard one to try and find. Oh, Lexi, come on, please buy Lexi. Please, please, Lexi's up the back here. What I'll do to make Lexi sell is I'll put Lexi up the front here and then that way people will see her awesomeness uh, there on show. That's a nice find. I did come in here to look for the Percy 6-in-1 set uh, because this was a shopper I found it before. Mind you, they were on the trolley before they get put on the shelves. And strangely, um, I have not seen uh, that set reappear on the shelves here. I'm seeing uh, lots of other things, but uh, not the Percy 6-in-1 set.